مساء الخير اهلا مساء الخير is like صباح الخير but this is for evening اهلا وسهلا في درس جديد اهلا وسهلا في درس جديد welcome to a new lesson this is for pronounced lamb in the definite article we had silent lamb in the definite article now we are having pronounced one we call it l lamb this elif lamb lamb elif lamb l uh, meme uh, the letter lamb l lamb al qamariya we will know just in a few seconds what what is Qamariya is? Well, just to remind you, the definite article in Arabic is the same usage in English. Something I know and the listener knows, or something we mentioned before, like I bought a book. When I mention it again, and everybody knows which book I'm talking about, I add the. I'm broke as the book is expensive. The same usage in Arabic. Kitab. This is one of the, the moon letters, actually. When we add alif lam, we add sukun, we add a move. So as long as we are having a move, it is pronounced. If you noticed in the silent uh, lam lesson, it never had a move because it is not pronounced, it is silent. But here you will always find sukun on lam uh, because it is pronounced, it has a move. Okay, so when we add alif lam, we pronounce it because kaf is a moon letter. It makes lam pronounced. We pronounce the lam. Al kitab. Al kitab. Kitab. Al kitab. Kitab. Al kitab. Repeat after me. Always repeat after me. Whenever I give you a pose, repeat and train. Kitab. El Kitab Kitab El Kitab These are the moon letters that make lamb pronounced and you can see that they are friends Jim Ha Ha or couples Ain Ray Fekov Kaf Mim You don't have to memorize the moon letters and the sound letters. Just choose uh, the easier uh, group for you and the rest are different. Either Moon letters or sun letters. Memorize one of them only, one group. And the, and the rest of the letters are the different ones. Why do we call them moon letters? Because of this example. This word means a moon. Ka mar. When we add alif lam, see the lam has sukun, so it is pronounced because kaf is one of the uh, moon letters that make lam pronounced. We pronounce lam. Al Kamar, the moon. Al Kamar. Repeat with me. Kamar, Al Kamar. Kamar, Al Kamar. Kamar, Al Kamar. It is because this example, this word, Kamar, which is moon, this is the most famous example or word that makes man pronounce. So we call the letters that make lamb pronounce moon letters or we call the lamb a moon lamb or we call it lamb qamariya. In the first slide, we had this lamb qamariya, a lamb al qamariya. Qamariya is the adjective from qamar. It means moon lamb, the lamb that we pronounce. The other one is lamb shamsiya. Shams is sun. Shamsiya is the adjective from sun. Lamb shamsiya means sun lamb. Like sun letters. The lamb that we don't pronounce. So we have lamb qamariya and lamb shamsiya. Or moon lamb and sun lamb. Now, we are having an example for every single letter that makes lamb pronounced, the moon letters. Asad, 
the letters are in red. Asset, L asset. And you can see here, as I told you last lesson, that when lamb and aleph, when aleph comes immediately after lamb, we write them this way as one letter. We, we, we consider them a compound letter and we call it lamb aleph, lamb aleph. This is the letter lamb aleph or the compound letter lamb aleph. And we write it this way. We don't have to write it this way. We wrote it in an easier way in the last uh, lesson. You can check the, pr the, the presentation. You will find it easier in the last presentation. This one is not really easy. It's difficult to, for you to write, but you need to know it because you need to read it when you find it written. But you don't have to write it this way because this, this is difficult. You, do, you may train to write it the, the, the other way. We had it in the last lesson. Okay, now repeat after me. Asset, L asset. Asset, L asset. You will always find sukun in the la on the lamb, above the lamb, because it has a move, because it is pronounced, because it, because it is lamb, kamariya, a moon lamb, a pronounced lamb, because it is followed by the one of the moon letters, elif. Bab, another letter, another moon letter, which is Bab. Bab, El Bab. Bab, El Bab. Again, Lamb has Sukun and it is pronounced because it is followed by Bab, which is one of the moon letters that make Lamb pronounce. Okay, let's pronounce, read the, let, the, the words again together. Asset. L asset, bab, L bab, asset, L asset, bab, L bab. Jamia, Jamia, L Jamia. See, the lamb has a move because of the pronouns. Because it is followed by G, which is a moon letter that makes lamb, a moon lamb or a pronounced lamb, and it takes a move and we pronounce it. Jamia, L Jamia, Jamia, L Jamia. And Alif here is what? It's a long vowel. Hop, L Hop. Well, you can. Notice that both the translations of both words is love. We cannot say the love in English, but we cannot add the to abstract nouns in English, but we can add L definite article uh, in the Arabic language to abstract nouns. This is okay, but we cannot do this in English. So both of them are love in English. Let's repeat again. Jamia. El Jamia Hope El Hope Jamia El Jamia Hope El Hope Jamia El Jamia Hope El Hope Khabar El Khabar Ain El Ain 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 Qaf we had this, uh, we had an example for this, which is Qamar al Qamar, the most famous example. And we had an example for Kitab, for Kaf, Kitab al Kitab. Now, for the letter Mim, Maktaba, al Maktaba. 
هر الهر مكتبة المكتبة هر الهر مكتبة المكتبة هر الهر ولد الولد ولد الولد ولد الولد يد اليد يد اليد يد اليد ولد الولد يد اليد Okay, I'll repeat them again quickly. اللام القمرية اللام القمرية The moon lamp, the moon lamp. كتاب الكتاب قمر القمر قمر القمر أسد الأسد باب الباب أسد الأسد باب الباب جامعة الجامعة حب الحب جامعة الجامعة حب الحب خبر الخبر عين العين خبر الخبر عين العين مكتبة المكتبة and this is we call it تاء مربوطة. It's just like this تاء but it is مربوطة. مربوطة means tied. It is made like a bow. And it has the, the same two dots. But we, we pronounce it as ها now because we're not used to this. We didn't have this character. We will have it. I, I guess we had it for gender. Well, this is تاء مربوطة for your information. This is تاء مربوطة. تاء is the same letter, this same تاء, but it is مربوطة. مربوطة means, uh, it's like a bow, as you see, it's not stretched like this one. And we can call it gender تاء. I guess I gave you this, gender تاء. Yeah, we had it, gender تاء. So this is تاء. That's why it has uh, two dots, but this is how it looks. Uh, at the end of the word. And we call it gender ta or ta marbuta. Marbuta means tied because it's like a bow. But this one is stretched on the line. Maktaba al maktaba. Hirra al hirra. Maktaba al maktaba. Hirra al hirra. Maktaba al maktaba. هرة الهرة ولد الولد يد اليد ولد الولد يد اليد ولد الولد يد اليد You can notice that there is سكون on every single lamb because they are all moon lamb or they are all pronounced lamb, or we call, as we call it in Arabic, lamb qamariya. But the silent lamb is lamb shamsiya, which is sun lamb, because shams is sun, shamsiya is the adjective of it. Lamb shamsiya, which is 